Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. My name is Gina. Um, first I would like to apologize. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, unfortunately it was Christmas. I was extremely busy. Then I got sick and um, you know this time of the year the flu goes around and um, I really had a bad cough so there was no way I could record a video without you know um, coughing and that, would, that wasn't a good thing. Uh, I feel a little bit better so a little bit congested still but a lot better. So and uh, I picked this project to show you guys how to make. Uh, this is like a makeup bag, but if you open it, it has different, different compartments. If you see, there's one here, one there, right? And if I open it here, there's also another one here. And um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. And on my video, I'm actually going to be showing you, if you want more um, compartments, I'm going to show you how you can actually leave this part here open um, and this part here also open so you can, um, so you can leave more pockets. Okay. So um, I'm going to do my best to explain all the details. Um, so we're going to start with some measurements where we need to make this bag. So I'm going to put this one here to the side and I have my little uh, container here with all the pieces that I need. So um, my ruler, maybe pins, um, and then I have all my materials here. I wrote some notes here so I don't forget to mention anything. So for this project we're going to be needing, uh, we're going to go through here so you guys understand all the pieces that I need. As you see here there's the middle pocket. So this middle pocket I'm going to be needing two piece, uh, four pieces. So two pieces for the outside fabric so that I have here. That's my two pieces for my outside fabric. And then I'm also going to need two pieces for my lining. Okay. And the size of these pieces are, um, so the longest side here is going to be eight and a half by six and a half. All right. So all my pieces are going to be that size. Okay. So again, two pieces of lining and two pieces for my main fabric. And I'm going to put these here to the side. Then for these two bags, it's literally just having like two makeup bags, one in each side of the middle one. So what we're going to be needing is, so I have my pieces here. We're going to need four pieces because that's one, two, three, four for my main fabric. So I, I picked this one here, one, two, three, four. And then I'm also going to need for lining and we also going to need four pieces for lining. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, and I have four pieces for lining and the measurements of these pieces are, it's going to be 10 this way, 10 inches this way. And if you would like to know in centimeters, let me just grab a measuring tape. So in centimeters would be 26 by 21, all right? And the smaller one, if you want in centimeters, it would be about 21 by 16, all right? So what I did, I cut all squares, so I cut squares, and the last thing that I did is I rounded the bottom corners. As you see, my, all my bottoms, I just rounded. I used, you know, you can use any round thing. For example, I have a piece of, of fabric here, let's see. I have this fabric here, and if I want to round these corners, okay, so I had my piece, I would put something there Let's see if you can see it. Draw a line. Draw a line there on that little, oh, you can't see it. We need something a little bit smaller so you could see it. Let's see, I have my tape here. So I would put that on the edge like that and that I would round this little corners here. So that's what I did. I cut my pieces all that size that I just mentioned. So my bigger size 
um, 10 inches by 8 so 10 by 8 and uh, the smaller one eight and a half by six and a half and the bottom part I paid attention to my direction and my fabric and I rounded all my bottoms then we also going to be needing um, two zippers one for the inside one for the outside and the size that I'm using here the inside you don't need it as big I have here about a 14 inches my zipper is 14 inches, but for the inside, if you have smaller, you can use smaller. As you see, my piece here, it's not that big. I'm going to have to cut some off, right? Okay. After you have all your pieces cut out, uh, just in case you're wondering uh, which, which fabrics I use, this, this fabric here that I use here with the little cats, it wa it's from Henry Glass, and it's called the Cat's Meow. And the one that I'm using here, it's, it's actually an older line from um, Rayleigh Blake, and I think it's called three, uh, the Tree Party. Okay? Um, it's an older line, I think it's from 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I really like Owl, so I decided to pick this one for my video. Your next step after you have all your pieces cut out is you're going to get your four pieces for your pocket and so I'm going to put them here so you see it here and I'm also going to grab two pieces for of my main for the outside pockets and I'm going to put the other two here on the side and also I'm going to put pick two pieces from my lining and these pieces what I want to do is I want to get a, a marking pen and this is a fabric marking pen this is erases with the iron um, it's called the Frickson uh, Frix pens there's tons in the market that you can find that you can iron off or wash away or you know and what we want to do we want to mark on all the corners of our top we want to mark a half an inch see I already mark in all of mine just to speed it up so half an inch in each side so you see I mark it there on the wrong side on this one here on my main fabric I actually marked it on the right side and on the wrong side and I'm going to show you why okay also here on my main one where I'm actually going to attach the zippers I also have um, marked it here half an inch in on my wrong side on the lining I'm only doing on the wrong side in both ends as you see they're all marked there and and this one I marked it on the wrong side and also on the right side okay after you have all your markings done uh, just in case you're working with centimeters I would say about one and a half centimeters okay that's your marking so now we're ready to attach the zipper so we need to attach a zipper to these parts that we have here so I'm gonna start with my main one here so I'm gonna grab one from here and the reasons that I put these markings that's where I need my zipper to start all right so I'm gonna push these away and I'm gonna so right side of my zipper that opens down to I'm actually gonna open it down to m where my marking is and I need I want to take since I had lots of zipper I'm gonna push this clip the little stopper that the zipper off right off of my marking and I'm gonna put it even with my the zipper even with my marking here and what I want to do I want to turn I want to push this away I don't know if you see it let's see so I'm gonna put the zipper here let me see if I can show you right on here on my marking and you see where you see my marking here I'm gonna bring it up so you can see better what I want to do I want to pull my zipper like this right on top of that marking so the teeth are right on top of that marking if you think you're gonna have a hard time sewing it this like this so I'm gonna put the pin there just to hold it in place so you see that 
right on the marking. If you think you're going to have a hard time sewing it this like that, you can get a needle and thread and secure it just like that. All right? And then you're going to keep going with the zipper. I'm just going to open all the way to the end since I have enough zipper so it stays out of my way. And then when I get here to the end here, so I'm going to put another pin here in the middle to secure it in place. Then I'm going to bring it again to my marking here, okay, to write the last marking that I have. And on this case here, I'm actually going to push my zipper down on right on the marking. Let's see. On my marking. So I have it here right on that marking down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it. When I'm sewing, I want to have this down like that. So I would just pin it here. Just make sure it stay out of the way. And then what are you going to do? You're going to take this to your machine and you're going to sew this on. After you sew that one on, you're going to bring your your lining, one of your linings, and we're going to match these edges here like that and like that. And the reason that I have that stopper there is if I'm going to sew that, I know where I need to start sewing because we're not going to be sewing that little piece there. Okay? So you're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do this part here and I'll be right back. So I'm back. As you see, I um, I sew the zipper in. Okay, need to trim these threads. Um, see, as you see, I stopped there on that half an inch and in here, because this was shipped out, this is, it's not sewed in there. It's like that. So this is right out of, like that. So I'll bring it back up so you can see it. So this side is done. So I will close my zipper so I don't get confused. Um, and then we're ready to do the other side. So we're gonna, again, pick up our main fabric, uh, get this one here and remember where we had, I'm gonna open this again because we'll be, well, to start sometimes it's easier to do your first marking with this close so you know exactly where these meet, your zipper meet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna secure this first in place here before I open my zipper. Then I'm gonna go here and since I'm putting all my fabrics even together, you see, they're even together. And I'm gonna open my zipper, of course my the pin is stopping it, so I'm going to open my zipper all the way. So now I'm only working with, with this part here. One thing that I actually forgot to mention is all my pieces that I have here, I use a stabilizer on it so it stays uh, slightly uh, thicker. So what I did is I used a pillon product. Um, this is a cotton one. I think it's F, uh, FS101, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it's a cotton stabilizer and it has fusing. It fuses to one side. So what I did, I fused all my pieces with this. So my bag is slightly thicker. All right. So let's go back to the zipper. Um, so we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did here. We're going to go here and where we have our little marking here we're gonna push our zipper up like that okay push it up and put a pin again if you're not comfortable with this turn here what you can do is get a needle and thread and secure it in place then when you go to your see it's not staying but I can get it to stay on the machine after Let's 
see if I turn it this side will be easier for me. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to turn, and I'm going to put a little pin here. All right, so I have my turn there. So this is where I'm going to start sewing because I want this to be like this. All right, and again on this end here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this down. Okay, so this side down. And I'm going to put a, a pin here where my marking is. And I know when I get to the sewing machine, I'm going to bring this down. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead, secure it, get my lining, put it on top, and then sew from that end to that end again. So I end up with a piece just like that. All right. After you've done this part, I'm, of course, I'm going to go ahead and sew it, but you're going to do exactly the same thing to one of your pieces, the one that you have the markings on. We're going to touch the other zipper and we're going to follow exactly the same directions that I gave you for this one. We're going to do the same thing. Zipper down, you're going to do this tip up and this one down and you're lining, uh, you're going to do that, and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So you're going to do exactly to these pieces what I just did to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these, and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Do you see I attach my zipper? And you're going to end up with, it's like you're making a makeup bag, so you're going to end up with one like that. You know, with the zipper in the middle, and here you see the zipper doesn't go all the way to the end. And here also we stopped it there about a half an inch in and the outside is the same thing we we stopped on the inside and and here it doesn't go to the end so what we're gonna do this part this part here that I have here that's our old side the, the bigger side we're gonna put it here to the side for now and this one, this is the small one, we're going to put it here for now. And we're going to get the other parts that we had that we still didn't do anything with it. So you have still two main and two lining. So what we're going to do, we're going to touch one main, one lining together. And we're going to do a seam across here and a seam across there. All right. And I'm going to go ahead to the machine and sew that. And I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I sew those two together, as you see. I open my seam here. I open the seam here. And I pressed it down to have it something like that. Okay? So I did to both of them the same. Okay? So now we're going to be working with one of these. We're going to put a side up. And we're going to bring our smaller pocket in here. So that's like this. So we have the two linings and the two main fabrics. And um, so we need to attach to this part here. So the one that doesn't have the zipper. So I'm going to open this like that, my lining to one side and my main fabric to the top. Then I'm going to grab my small fabric, my small pocket that's going to be in the middle. And I'm going to so I need this to be a touch here like this, right? On this part here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move, see zipper, I'm going to move that down, that down, and that other lining down. And what I'm going to be working is with, with one side, this side here, I'm going to be putting it down there. And I need to center this. Okay, so I need to find this a center. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to get a ruler. And I have here about, let's see, quarter. Let's see, this ruler is kind of hard to see because it's on the black mat. But let me. I'm going to go here and I'm going to measure, let's see, half, I'm going to go about three quarters from the bottom 
three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to find three quarters of an inch on my ruler and I'm just going to do a little marking here. This will come off with the iron so I just need to make sure, oh this one wasn't straight. So there and there. Then I have to find about three quarters of an inch also from each side or that's three quarters uh, that's three quarters so this can move slightly over okay another way that you can do is you can fold this mark your middle and mark your middle and then since you have the middles done you know that's your middle and then if you have middle middle and middle then you can center it that way but I want three quarters of an inch from the bottom and about three quarters of an inch in each side you center that and I'm gonna actually put some pin, one pin here to grab it to secure it in place and now what I'm gonna do here I'm actually gonna mark one inch from the outside of this fabric of my inside pocket so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna mark one inch in and I also need one inch from the top so from the bottom sorry about that so one inch up so it's here and one inch from the side it's there so I'm gonna draw a line like that then I'm gonna go to this side I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go one inch from my bottom from my bottom right here that's one inch up and from the edge of my fabric here I don't know if you can see the edge of my fabric here the white one that's my inside pocket I'm also gonna go oh, I have this here I'm also gonna be going one inch in and I'm gonna draw a line Okay, and I'm gonna go here and join these. So now just to make sure it's correct, I should have one inch in the bottoms. All right, one inch from the bottom. If I even my ruler with one inch, I can join those two. And I have that square. If I want mine to be closed like this, okay, you see here, mine doesn't have a pocket in here it's sewed here. If I want mine to be like that, I would go here, I would remove that pin from there and from my sewing line here from the zipper I would measure an inch down, one inch down, let's see, I'm just gonna put that against my lining, against, right against that line there touching my as you see here my seam allowance there from the zipper I would go one inch down I would mark it there and then here also I would open that find my zipper sewing line and I would mark okay let's see I would mark one inch down from there and mark it there and then I would draw a line and I would sew there okay but in this case here I'm actually on this one I'm gonna leave it open I'm not gonna sew this line I'm not gonna sew that line at all I'm just gonna sew from here down I'm gonna pivot here go this way and go that way and I'm gonna leave that part open okay so I'm gonna put a couple pins here and I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I'm going to go ahead and sew this and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I saw that there. need to trim all these threads. Otherwise, in the end, you're going to have threads everywhere. So you need to trim all of them. Whatever you have threads, trim it. So if, you have, if we have a good look, this is what we have. So we had sewed this to one side like that. 
so it's sewed there. Make sure you really secure this part here because if this is going to be a pocket, this needs to be proper secure. All right. If you don't want it open here, you can sew that line that we mentioned. Okay. Then you would sew that line here. Okay. Now we need to attach to the other side. So now this other part here that doesn't have a zipper, we're going to again open it up. Okay. And this is the one we just did. Now we're going to go here and we're going to go down and we're going to find our other main fabric as you see. And now this part here is going to go on top because that's where we're going to be sewing it. So this is going to move to this side. Our lining is going to move to that side. The line is going to move to that side. And now we have to center this side again to here. All right. So you have to make sure I'm just going to do my square on my main fabric here. So I need one inch from the bottom. So I'm just going to go like that and I'm going to need one inch from the side. I'm going to draw my square already that I need to sew and then I'm going to center it. Make sure you center again as we did the other side, exactly the same thing. And of course I have to find from that down, I would have to go one inch down so I know where to stop sewing. Let's see. From my, my sewing line to there is here. And from my sewing line it's here. And if I wanted to sew that up like I did my first bag, I would draw a line and sew that in. In this case, I'm actually not going to sew it. I'm just going to stop sewing here and here. So now I need to center this. So I need three quarters. Three quarters. That's there. That's good. And three quarters. And okay, so this needs to move slightly over like that, and I think I'm good. So I'll put a couple pins, and we're gonna go ahead and sew this. So again, sew it from there down across here. If you want that closed, you sew across. If not, you leave it open, secure these ends. All right, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, as you see. I sewed that to there and I sew my other one. Let's see. So there's one that's sewed in and there's the other one that's sewed in. Okay, to my outside fabric. So if I put this like this, you can already see this is this part here. That part there of the back. Okay, um, so now we need to finish is this inside pocket that we have here. So that's the part that we need to sew. So we're going to put our linings facing up and you see there's a zipper in the middle here. And we're going to open this part here like that. So I have, if I had, this is, would be the bag. This would be, my inside bag would be like this, open and I sew these to it, to my main fabric. So we're gonna put it that way. And this part here, of course, we don't need this right now, okay? So we don't need these, this outside fabric right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here, we're gonna fold it in on the line that we sewed here. You see that? We sewed here, that's the line that we sew when we attached it here. So we're going to fold this all in because it's like you're making a makeup bag. So we need to put right sides with right sides. Okay, so we're going to fold it and also going to fold this one here. So you see again, this is our seam from the other bag. We're going to fold all of that. 
because we're not going to need that. And we're going to bring this outside fabric, you see that, that outside fabric, on top of this one. And we're going to make sure that this is all folded in. All the other edges are folded in. I don't want to put pins. Okay, I don't want to put pins, so I just have right side of the small bag with all the other ones inside and then my lining of the outside bag together all right so i need to make sure is all these extra fabrics from my outside fabric are folded in and this is where you should be putting lots of pins so i'm going to start here you see my fabric is folded in folded in i'm going to start here with my edge here i'm going to put a pin Okay, I'm going to go here to the edge, make sure all my fabrics are folded in there. I'm going to put another pin here. And this little part of the zipper, you can already cut it off. We don't need that. And also this side. Here, no, you don't, you don't do that. Okay, and this zipper here, we're also going to push it inside. See, zipper, I'm pushing it inside. All right. So push the zipper inside. If you see, we stopped it that half an inch for that reason. Okay, so that half an inch, so zipper in. And we want to make sure we don't catch that zipper. We're going to push it in there like that and we're going to put these together also here i'm going to put a pin here and again all these fabrics in there so i'm only sewing my inside my two inside fabrics of my back i'm going to put another pin here secure it really well with the pins fabric in another one there This side also, I'm going, going to match these fabrics here, see, and try to fold the fabrics for the same side, okay, where the zipper is, I'm going to fold it to one side, and this side I would be folding it to the same side. So there, and again, all those fabrics in there. Okay, so I fold that to that side. I'm also going to fold that to that side there for the lining, folding it the same direction. Okay. In here, we're going to be leaving an opening and leave it this is my lining right so and this is the way I would be making a makeup bag it's just I have all the extra stuff in here um, I'm going to be marking an opening mark an opening fairly big because you're going to need it to turn all the stuff out okay so then you're going to go ahead to the sewing machine you're going to sew this all the way around like that and then we're going to I'll be right back and turn it inside out so you see what it looks like So I'm back. I sew all the way around. Trim any threads that you have. And then we're going to turn this inside out. So it helps if you leave your zipper open. Okay, that's my lining. This kind of looks a little weird when you turn it out, but it works out perfectly. So I'm gonna go like that, as you see. That's the bag that we just sewed inside. This is our lining. I'm gonna fix our lining here a little bit. 
and I'm gonna push the lining into my bag here see we're gonna have to close that lining of course don't forget that don't forget to afterwards sew this lining closed okay um, on this one as you see I actually left the zipper out on this one here as you see I actually sew my zipper in I left it inside so I don't have a tail but I decided on this one to leave actually a little bit of a tail and I'm going to touch something like this to it on my inside fabric because I kind of adds a little bit detail I kind of like it um, so then you end up with something like this so as you see it's already forming the shape of that okay if I close it this is what I have here it's just on this one I sew the top and this one I actually have an opening can also use that as pockets ends up with more pockets right so and you could have sewed a little bit more up I didn't sew too much up but you could have okay so now after we've done this make sure these are even and they are okay we need to attach to this one now and okay I was trying to figure out a better way of explaining this so you don't get confused so let's start so we need to attach now this part here that we did here to her main back okay so I'm gonna be moving put one part like that that's my outside and all the other parts I'm gonna move it this way and I'm gonna open my zipper this this part here of the zipper we can also trim that and we also can trim this one here it's less things in there okay we're gonna put that there and this part here that we have that there we know we need to attach it to here okay so one of the sides here we're gonna put this here with the zipper in the middle and we're gonna go on this side here we're gonna fold all these in like that all right and now we know we need to sew this outside fabric with this outside fabric and then the lining to the lining right so after this is all fold what am I gonna do I'm gonna turn this to here okay um, so I'm gonna put that down here and I'm gonna bring my main fabric and I'm gonna match with this main fabric here where my zipper is okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin here okay I want to make sure my zipper is moved in so I don't catch it okay and uh, see this is my lining okay so and I'm gonna go ahead and I can pin this part here already all the way around with all that inside there so I'm gonna go here and go ahead again here I want to make sure that this zipper is moved in so and I'm gonna match my two fabrics here see where we had that opening I'm gonna have that there put another pin there okay now we have all this other fabric here right well we can sew to these two parts because this is my other side of the, the bag so what I'm gonna do here you see this is where I pinned it I'm gonna push this all the way in all the way into there okay and then I'm gonna bring this lining to this lining okay let me adjust this pin here so my fabrics are even okay so now I have again it's like doing a makeup bag so I'm gonna pin the rest here and leave an opening here on my lining to flip it inside and all the extra stuff is right in here okay let's go ahead and sew this and I'll be right back 
So I'm back. So I saw all the way around and just in case you're wondering I use uh, about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Trim all the threads and what we're going to do we're going to turn it to the other side. It helps here on these little corners if you want this to, to do a couple slits so we end up with a slightly nicer turn, special on curves. Right? Okay. I'm gonna turn it to the other side. We have to bring everything out. Let's have a look. This is a little tricky because it has lots of stuff in there. Just be gentle. And take your time pulling all out. All right, it's coming. All right, see, it looks kind of So if you notice, this is my lining that I'm going to have to close it. See, it's my lining here that I'll have to close that opening. And that lining gets turned into the bag that we just sewed. Right? All right. So now, we have this other part that has to be sewed and we have to do exactly the same thing so this is like this now all right and now I have to put lining with lining and right side to this right side that we didn't sew in yet but you can see it better now right so now all this whole bag has to be again on the inside okay you're gonna pin it okay you're gonna pin all this inside make sure the zipper is in and leave an opening here on your lining and you're gonna sew this all the way around. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I sew all the way around. So I left my opening here, so I'm gonna flip it or turn it to the other side. Of course I left a very small hole, so this is gonna be challenging. Probably leave it a slightly bigger will be easier. Or maybe I should just open mine slightly. Let's see. Let's give it a try. Hopefully I won't struggle too much. It looks kind of all confusing now, but it will make sense as soon as you start fixing it up. So I still have all my openings here, so I'm gonna, through my openings, I'm gonna adjust my corners here, the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna open this all the way so we can see slightly better what we're doing here. This is the other bag, it's open, so I'm gonna turn here. And of course it's all wrinkled now because we had this all crunched up in there. So when we press it and fix all these corners, we'll look a lot better. Okay, so and you fix all your corners, sew your linings closed, don't leave it open, and let me bring it up. And there you go. In this case, as you see, I left one zipper to one side, one zipper to the other side, but you could have done it the other way. 
and also on this other one that I have here I saw the zipper inside on this inside this one I left it on the outside so let's have a look make sure everything works and it does so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna touch a little tab like that I'm gonna cut my zip my zippers um, this one I'm gonna leave it the same size but this one I'm gonna cut it smaller I'm gonna touch a little tab you know and also I'm gonna press it really well okay and I'm gonna be doing a top stitch all the way around here so top stitch all the way around and top stitch all the way around because you don't want your zipper to get stuck on your lining okay um, and we're done I hope you enjoyed this project um, we'll see you next Saturday and happy sewing everyone mm -hmm.